What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a mail day. We have um, nothing too crazy, but we did have another card that uh, we picked up from Cosmic Eclipse uh, that hasn't arrived yet. We have a stack of PSA cards we picked up in the latest PWCC auction, and then we have some sealed product we're going to get into, and so we're going to be all over the place, to be honest. A lot of this stuff as isn't even actually Pokemon. Uh, the first thing we're going to show is a plush that we picked up. And a random story, it is a cute little chocobo. It's like a night chocobo. He has like a helmet on. Uh, big fan of the Final Fantasy franchise, although I haven't played one in a while. And I thought chocobo was just really cute. You know, he's just, so, I don't know when he was introduced, but he's like in all the games and he is always adorable. So we're going to put you right here for this video. Uh, just real quick for some sealed product. It took forever to get here, but we finally got a couple of these uh Mew Mew Armor Mewtwo lunchboxes it's I find it kind of strange how we don't have Armor Mewtwo although he is on the back so we'll probably see this guy in the opening in the very near future. No face cam right now. Uh, I picked up like a light for better lighting but I'm not sure how to do both cameras without it kind of like blasting the camera with light. So we picked up some more of these pin collections. Uh, it's been quite a while since uh we opened these guys but we did pick up another Probably like 10 boxes so we'll probably open those at some point uh let's see any magic the gathering fans out there we picked up a throne of eldraine gift edition box so it comes with i believe 10 packs plus a collector's edition pack so that'd be pretty cool to open uh at this point we haven't done magic the gathering in so long it'll almost be like a wtf video so that'd be cool if we could pull something that makes a bunch of elks. The card's absolutely busted. Let's look at this single real quick. It's nothing too crazy. It is from Cosmic Eclipse, but it does look pretty minty. And it is the Rainbow Alternate Art Silvalli GX. You know, all these cards are super cheap. So when they had a cashback promotion, I just picked up a bunch of them. Put this in the background. Yeah, so you can kind of see, like, there's that big light. So I'm not, I'm not exactly a... I don't really know anything about lighting, so if you have any tips on how to position it, especially when it comes from like a face cam coming up, so basically you have cameras going at both different angles without that kind of overwhelming it. So let's go into our PSA cards, and we're going to be a little bit all over the place. The first, we're going to kind of have a special Japanese set from 1995. I actually didn't know much about these, and it is the Japanese Top Sun squirrel and it's weird because yeah i don't know much about these cards 1995 super old and this is like the blue back because another one we have is war turtles we did pick up some turtles and this one is gem mint 10 but this is a green back card so no idea what's going on here and i don't plan on creating collections of these but i thought these were cute and they are turtles so unfortunately we didn't get the blastoise it was psa 10 so it ended up costing quite a bit or settled at quite quite high on auction but thought those were pretty cool and we have one more Japanese card <laughs> I am becoming a bigger and bigger fan of Wooper I feel like he's just really cute I think my favorite is Pokemon Go why do we see a Wooper he's just bopping up and down having a great time so this is I guess a Japanese McDonald's promo from uh, I guess some I guess this is like during the E-Series. And uh, we starting our Prime collection as far as PSA goes. These things were picked up for super cheap. Uh, they are only PSA 8s, but uh, we have three scissors. So essentially kind of what I often do, I'll just put like a low bid for these. And if I get them, sweet. If I don't, all good. They happen to have a eBay bucks promotion going on. Although I did make a bit of a mistake because it did not occur to me that you only get the eBay bucks promotion if the item that you pick up is $25 or more so we have prime Raichu um, the primes are kind of cool I do think that they are maybe under they're, I don't know about undervalued but they're not very popular not very well known and I do think at some point they will become more popular that might be a while though so but we do have two espions all these are PSA 8 very cool that's from Heart Gold Soul Silver. A Hound Doom. I feel like they took a very different approach with the art. Some of them, I think it really worked. Some of them, not so much. This one, I'm not sure. <laughs> Another PSA 8 from 2010, Heart Gold Soul Silver. And then the last one, I thought this one might be 
kind of popular among our fan base. I'm continually impressed by how big Umbreon is. I, to be honest, I thought Espeon would be more popular, but hey, people love Umbreon. This one's not blue, so he's not a shiny, but uh, very cool looking prime. This one, I do think the art really looks nice. He almost looks like a ninja, how, you know, if you look quickly, you don't even see all you see is eye and then the yellow lines. So pretty cool. And then the rest of these are Watsy cards. And we'll go in reverse chrono chronological order, starting with some old limited rocket. PSA 9 is pretty good. I do have a PSA 9 first edition set completed, and now we can start working on the unlimited 9. So you pick up a bunch of cards to help in that side. Next is Dark Slowbro. If you're not familiar with the rocket set, this was after Fossil, and everything had super low HP. I guess these are like the evil Pokemon, and <laughs> since they're Team Rocket, they just have really low have stage 1 with only 60 HP. And it's super weak too. 40 damage for two. If flip coin of tails, this does nothing. Dark Arbuck, another 60 HP, another PSA 9. And then we have a Rainbow Energy, the very first Rainbow Energy ever printed. Very cool. PSA 8 only though, but still unlimited. And looks like we do have a couple more. Dark Magneton. I believe this one is actually super hard to grade just because of how much foiling there is. And I think this these lines are actually on the case itself. But I think this is one of the better art with the silhouette, which at first sight might be think might be the Pokemon, but then it kind of has like a evil looking smile and actually the R I think is just really cool. One of the maybe one of the best arts in Rocket, in my opinion. And then a dark vile plume PSA9. Stage 2. <laughs> Only 60 HP. Okay. Alright, now we're moving on to Jungle. Uh, this one's super low grade, but it is a Jolteon. Evolutions are always really cool. Wow, look how off-center that is. Kind of wish that would get like a OC grade. Look, that that is super off-centered. Kind of disappointed they didn't get the OC, but so it just got a PSA 7. Continued Evolutions. This one, we're moving up to eight. Um, I keep going back and forth as far as whether it's worth to collect a create PSA eight collections. Um, I do think that I do like the idea because you know I don't mind leaving those out. Uh, anything like PSA nine first editions, PSA tens, you had to keep those safe. But uh, PSA seven, PSA eight, those I don't mind. I'll just leave them in the living room or whatever, and that way I can actually look at them. And that's kind of why I like binder collections, because I actually can look at the cards. But uh, PSA 7, PSA 8 fall in that category as well. Here is a 7 Wigglytuff. And then we did pick up one basic card, and that is a King 10. So all these cards, guys, again, are super cheap, especially when you if you can get them on auction. Uh, if you're not familiar, PWCC does do auctions every month. And uh, especially when the eBay Bucks promotion kind of lines up with it, it's pretty nice. And I bet you can get some really vintage Watsy cards for much cheaper than you would expect. So maybe just something to keep an eye out for. I do think that PSA cards are kind of like, you know, I'm very much like I kind of would side on the vintage side uh, compared to modern. Although I did pick up all those Cosmic Eclipse cards, but just because they're just so cheap. And uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this and uh, we'll have some more openings in the near future. Get into those lunch boxes kind of late, but better late than never. I do want that Mewtwo promo. Pretty cool looking card, although as far as like the actual mechanic or the attacks and stuff, the card is super weak. And so yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, reminder that there is a giveaway going on. Um, I'll put it at the end of the video or try to put it somewhere here uh, you can enter make sure you do enter to win a ETB um, whether it's hidden fates or cosmic eclipse will be up to the winner you know just to celebrate the fact that we got to 800 subs so thank you all for helping us cross that milestone and um, yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if so do me a favor hit that like button and uh, yeah let me know what your thoughts are on um, any of these cards what's your favorite one let me know in a comment down below anyways guys that's it for today Thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.